Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and I am a second grade teacher and a new mom and I wanted to film a kind of like my top baby products. I really don't want to call this essentials because honestly essentials to me for a baby are like food and a place to sleep um, and a car seat. <laughs> so I don't know. I just feel like none of this stuff is essential. Like you don't have to have it in order to have a baby, but I do notice that it has just made um, having a baby a lot easier. Um, just little things that just kind of make make having a baby easier, I guess. So um, yeah, so none of it is essential. Um, you don't need any of it, but it is handy if you are looking for things to put on your baby registry or things to maybe purchase as a gift for somebody. These are all really good options. So um, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. And if I have a coupon code for anything, I will have every like code or anything I can find down below. Um, as I'm filming this, it'll all be stuff that are all codes that work, but if you're watching this like way in the future, the codes may not work anymore. But um, I will try to find codes for as many things as I can to save you guys the most amount of money. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's get on into it. <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna be like my zero to six month um, like baby products because uh, my baby is just about five months when I'm filming this, just like five or six days short. I think actually like a week is short of five months. And so these are all things that we have used a lot during her zero to six month time. Um, I'm gonna film another one and these are all things that I will continue probably to use into you know six months to, six to 12 months, but these are kind of just the things that um, we have definitely used so far. And um, I will film another one like later on with some different products. So I'm just in no like particular order, <laughs> but um, the first thing is the Boppy Newborn Lounger. Um, she still uses this. And um, I should also mention like, I feel like with baby things, there's so many people have so many different opinions and somebody may think like, oh, you're doing that wrong. You can't use it that way or use it this way. Um, this is just the way I use things. So if I'm not doing it right, like don't come at me. But anyway, so we like this because um, when we're on like the couch or anything, um, when she was a really, really little baby, she could lay with us and it kind of like props them up a little bit. So they're not just like laying down. Um, so she can kind of be like awake. Like they're not, this is not meant for like napping. Um, and then now I'm exclusively pumping. Um, she no longer wants to breastfeed. So when I um, get up at night to pump and then also feed her, I um, just to like minimize the amount of time I pump while I'm feeding her, um, feeding her a bottle. So I actually put her on this to feed her because uh, it kind of gets her in like a good position to eat in my opinion, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I just put this next to me and then um, I'll hold the bottle. That's like the easiest way for me to do it and also be hooked up to my pump. The next thing is a this um, Love to Dream Swaddle and I'm actually so mad that I didn't have this when she was a newborn. So we actually just recently got this um, and she is already like roly poly -oly. Um, She rolls all the time. She sleeps on her stomach now, but um, she really never likes to be swaddled. And um, so this, and I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog, I had to lock him outside because he was being so annoying. But um, this, I took off one of the um, like arm things, but you can unzip them off and then they can just put their arms out. So it's kind of a transitional swaddle. So you can either have their arms in, one arm out or both arms out. So she's at the point now where both of her arms are out. Um, I just put one, put one on for the video, but like I said, she never really liked her arms to be swaddled. Um, for a few weeks, like after maybe like six to nine weeks, she would deal with it, but um, really she just didn't like it. So this would have actually been so much better because she could, they can keep their arms like this and their arms are not like t constricted, which this is more of a natural position that the babies want to sleep in anyway. So um, they're able to do that. And then when you're transitioning out of arms in the swaddle, then you can do the one arm and then uh, eventually take it off. And then it kind of just like Oh, sucks her in like a little bit on the sides and then um, it just zips up and I like the way it has the two-way zipper so I really really like this definitely going to pick up um, more of these the next time we have another kid because um, I like these a lot more than the other swaddles and I also like that they're just zip I really don't like the velcro ones um, although they're like convenient because they're velcro it's just like I feel like it wakes her up so much when I'm like <laughs> like ripping off all the velcro at night and um, 
you can't like change them as easy like you have to like kind of get them all out of there whereas this one like I can just kind of unzip the bottom part and like leave most of her body still in it so yeah really 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 like these I'm definitely gonna be purchasing more of these um in the future actually probably even more for Eloise actually um I'll just take the arm things off of them and they have littler ones too I think um that don't even zip off that are just like for the newborns that um they're not zip off Okay, the next thing is so, so, so cool. Um, this is something I actually got like, uh, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so. So we haven't had it the whole time, but it is so much fun. And it's something that I never knew existed. I'm sure most people don't even realize they exist. And that is a baby cam for the car. So, and I should also mention anything that's like too big. Um, I'm just going to probably do a lot of like kind of overlays a video because a lot of things are too big I can't bring like in the camera um anyway so this is a baby cam for the car so this is a camera um and then it comes with a little monitor which I'll include pictures but it comes with a little monitor and then this hooks up to the seat and then it's like camera the shows <laughs> um it records there we go it records them in the car seat so we used to have a mirror which is very typical, like you put a mirror, you know, right there. But I could never focus my eyes long enough on it to be able to actually see her and uh, without fearing that I was gonna like crash my car or something. So um, every time I would look around, it's like I could glance, but I really couldn't see much when I was glancing. Like I could never see if she was like actually asleep or anything like that uh, because I couldn't like focus my eyes long enough without having to like stop and then the car was moving and so I just couldn't. So um, I really, really like this. This is um, called... I think it's called a Zuby and it's from infanttech.com. Um, I keep mine actually hooked up in the car, um, but you can actually just, I like, I keep it plugged in, I should say, but you can actually just charge it and then just plug it in and then, or hook it up to your car. Um, it doesn't need like Wi Fi or anything like that, so that's super cool. I also think it would be cool, like, when she does eventually start staying the night places, we could actually give the, this to them and the monitor to, um, like, keep to like use as a monitor at their house because it's almost like a portable to go monitor or if you were going to go somewhere and they were going to be napping and you wanted to be able to keep an eye you could definitely do that too so I think that's really cool it kind of doubles um beyond just the car so yeah so they have this one and then they also have a giraffe which I think is really cute too but we want the little the little fox so I think it's really cute Okay, so the next thing, which is huge, this is, and actually this one has a stain on it, so sorry if you can see that, but this is a dog tot. So I will be completely honest, this is so expensive, <laughs> like so expensive. This is actually not even mine. Um, this is actually a friend's, and she was willing to um, kind of like let me just borrow it while Eloise was small because they don't fit in them for all that long. So she let me borrow hers um, because her babies are not little right now. And so I'm just going to give it back to her when I'm done. So it actually worked out perfect. So you can actually, if you can find people to like share some of these items with, if you have like a sibling or something who's going to have little kids, definitely do that because um, so many of these things, like I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. Um, once Eloise is like in between her not using them and then us like having another kid. So, but anyway, so the Dakota, I did not want a dog top because i was like they're too expensive um i'm not gonna use i don't see myself using it all that often and then my friend was like hey do you want to borrow mine um i have a dog top do you want to borrow it and i was like eh, honestly i don't know and then i went over to her house one day and she was like do you want to borrow it and i was like you know what? okay i'll just take it and then i'll see if i use it and then if not i'll just give it back to you we used it so much and Skylar even said recently he was like when our siblings have kids like that's going to be what I buy for them because it, it honestly it really is like awesome um so she always used it for naps um Eloise is a horrible napper um if we're just being honest she is a great sleeper at night but a horrible napper she just cries and doesn't want to go to sleep and so one way that would help her to go to sleep a little bit easier was to use the dock -tot in the crib um and there was a couple random nights where when she was really little that like we just could not get her to sleep um for you know whatever reason and we had to put the dock -tot in there i don't like to i know you they actually stay on their website you can't do that uh, but I know a lot of people do, um, and I I just didn't feel like super comfortable at night. Napping is a little bit different of a story because like I'm awake and whatever, but I definitely don't didn't really feel comfortable using it at night in the um, 
in the crib. She always slept in her crib because our bassinet was like kind of janky. And um, the day we got home from the hospital, Axel, our dog, jumped on the side of it. She wasn't in or anything, but he like jumped on the side. No, I had just set her in it. And he like jumped on the side to look at her. And he like almost knocked the whole thing over. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I sold the, um, the bassinet like the next day and she's slept in her crib ever since. We had the crib in our room and now she's in her own room. But yeah, so I um, really like it. I love that you can like put the dog tot anywhere and like they can have like a resting spot. Um, if you were actually like going somewhere like traveling, um, that would be a great place to also do if you're going to be driving, obviously not really flying, but um, that would be a great way to use it as well. Okay, so the next two things I'm kind of putting into like almost one category because they both give me so much peace of mind at night when she is sleeping. So the first part is the Owlet sock, um, like heartbeat, uh, oxygen monitor. You guys, I couldn't get this to work last night. Like something, it was just not connecting and I didn't, I couldn't figure it out and it was kind of late. So I was just like, whatever. I was like having anxiety all night about her sleeping because I, she didn't have this on. And oh my gosh. So you put it on their foot and it tracks their oxygen and their heart rate while they're sleeping. Um, and it is to not, not prevent SIDS obviously because nothing prevents it, but it helps to um, just kind of monitor in case something were to happen, then you could kind of, um, you know, do something about it quicker. So it will, we have like a little base in our room. It's green when her heart rate is good. There's like a range that it can be in. When her heart and her oxygen are good, it's in the green zone. If, um, if for whatever reason it drops below or it goes above, then um, it hits red and it will start like beeping at you like crazy. Um, and so then you can, you know, figure something out. It's happened to us twice that it started beeping red and both times I was holding her. Um, and she was like awake. So I think it was just like a false reading, but yeah, so it only happened twice and it was when she was a lot younger. And like I said, I was holding her. So I don't know, but this honestly, like that I was like super anxious when I was pregnant about just everything. And I was really worried about when she was here because I knew it was going to be super anxious. And this has helped me to be a lot less anxious. I don't feel like I have to go check on her all the time because I can just pull up on my phone her, um, her vitals and like see how she's doing and know that she's okay and we actually have the um the camera that goes with the outlets like the outlet camera so it's all in one app so i can check on her like in the camera and then i can also check on her um her vitals at the same time so and then the other part that gives me a lot more peace of mind which again we've actually only had this product for um I don't know, maybe about a month as well. Um, and it's the Newton mattress. So the Newton mattress is like one that's completely breathable. Um, I'll include some clips, but they can like, you can literally put your face up to it and you can breathe right through it, which is crazy. And so she started sleeping on her stomach and like that, like a week later is when we got the mattress. And I was like stressing out about her sleeping on her stomach because I'm like, she's still so little that I was afraid that she was like gonna put her face in and then she wouldn't know how to like, move her head or I don't even know but yeah so the mattress now she can like literally shove her face in the mattress and like I don't worry about her um sleeping so I'm like I don't know how I had the regular mattress but I, I guess I do because she wasn't sleeping in her stomach but yeah so that has gave me so much more peace of mind as well and um just made me feel a whole lot better about her sleeping and just all that in general she's down to either one wake up at night or no wake ups um it kind of just depends dog hair on my face um it kind of just depends on the day um sometimes she'll wake up at like one and then sometimes she doesn't get up till Usually she'll wake up about four and then I usually usually just stay up because I have work and whatever. So I usually just stay up, but um, she'll go back to bed for an hour and a half or so and then get up at like 5.30, 6.30. So anyway, the next thing, let me check my, my list. So the next thing is the Ikea high chair. So um, it's actually right here. I, shouldn't, oh, I don't want to go out of the focus. I'll just include a clip. So the Ikea high chair is $20, 30 two dollars with the cushion and everything which i do highly recommend the blow up um cushion part when they're little so she like i said is only 
close to five months and um, but she is already sitting on her own and so we've been putting her in the high chair while we eat dinner and everything and she sits in there and the the padding the like inflatable thing holds her up oh my gosh i have a piece of dog hair on like my face and it's itching my nose so bad um so the inflatable like holds her in there so once she's a little bit bigger I'll, I'll just be able to take the inflatable part out of it but with the the tray the seat the um inflatable piece and the cover that goes on it it's 32 dollars, and it's such a good high chair so eventually you can take the tray off of it and then just push the chair up to the um, table i like it because it's like exactly the same height as our table and so when she's sitting there she's like at our height um not so great because it's exactly the right height for the dog to put his face on her tray but <laughs> that's okay we're, we're still learning so um yeah so it's a really good high chair for how cheap it is like you honestly can't beat that and um, I have no complaints so far about it. Um, they have actually, there's a website called Yeah Baby Goods. It has a bunch of almost like hack type things that you can um, use for you can use for the high chair. I was going to purchase some stuff and I just haven't done it yet. We've only had the high chair for a couple weeks. So um, I need to go on there and purchase some things. But yeah, so the next thing is I just took a piece of it. <laughs> Um, we have one of these big like play mats and um, I really like this one because as you can see it's very neutral and it matches our house very well. So we have this out here in the living room because we have um, like wood flooring. So we put this out here on here on the floor so that she can have a place to play out here. We used to play in her room a lot more, um, but ever since we brought this out here, we noticed that we play out here a lot more, which is nice because the TV's out here. And um, while I'm like eating dinner or not eating dinner, making dinner and stuff like that, I can put her over here to kind of play. So we do prefer to have it out here in the living room. And um, I just love that it's like neutral and matches our house and it doesn't like stand out very much when it's out here. So um, highly recommend that. And then the other thing that I have, I'm like looking at it right now, is the Love Every um, Play Gym, I think they call it. We keep it on top of this big play mat thing. Oh my gosh, like she is obsessed with the play gym. There's, um, I'll include a picture, but there's like the sensory, sensory strands. She will sit there, I'm not even kidding you, for like 45 minutes and just play with them. Like if I'm making dinner and I like need her to go over there, she will lay there and just like play with the strands. She like rolls all over the mat. She'll play with all the different things. She like kicks things with her feet. She loves the play mat so much, the play gym, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's her favorite thing. I think ever so um, highly recommend some type of play gym I really like the love everyone but I do know it's a little bit pricier so um, if that's not in your budget then you know some kind of play gym but that one I love I also love because it is um, very like aesthetically pleasing it doesn't stand out very much it doesn't have like it does have crazy bright colors but they're like very minimal so then it just doesn't stand out as much as like some other things or some other baby products so really really like that and the last thing i have on my list is the new bath seat that we got for her so she had one of the ones where you like lay down and she's a wild child and like worms her way out of it every time she's in the bath and i have to like hold her down so i was trying to find a solution to the bath thing because i was having to like literally just keep my hand on her the entire time and she loves bath time so we take a lot of baths um, so I got her this seat. I have it in the bath, so I'll include a picture, but um, we have this seat and they just like sit in it and you can fill up the water and then I don't have to worry about her like slipping out because she can kind of just sit. Now that she can sit on her own, um, I feel okay using it. You wouldn't want to use it before they're able to sit on their own, but um, you could just like sit them in it and there's like a bar in front of them and then they can just like play and splash and she likes to be able to reach her toys, which in the, in the other like tub thing she wasn't able to grab toys or anything because she was kind of like laying back so i'd have to like give them to her but now she can actually like you know reach forward and grab the toys and play with them and whatever so she really likes that too and um i feel just a lot better or i feel a lot um bath time is a lot easier with it <laughs> because she's not quite as wild so that is everything that I have on my list. Oh wait, no, I lied. Actually, one more thing. I wasn't gonna show it, I was just gonna say a wipeable changing 
pad. I think that's what you call them, a changing pad, um, like where you change their diapers. We had one that was not wipeable and it had like um, covers on it. And we were changing out the covers, I'm not even kidding you, like two times a day. And we were having to wash them every single time because she would pee on them, it would get poop on them, whatever. Um, she would like spit up when she would lay down and would get like spit up on it. And it was just a mess. Now that she's a little bit older, like we could probably have a not chain or not wipeable one and it would be fine because it doesn't happen as often anymore. But when she was a baby, like that thing was getting so dirty all the time. And so we actually ordered a hatch, um, changing um pad and it's supposed to weigh them as well it actually came broken we got it off ebay it actually came broken and then we ended up getting all the money refunded so we actually like got it for free because the the scale didn't work but the actual like mat is still just fine and it, we can wipe it down which is really nice and um it's so much easier to clean oh my gosh so highly recommend a wipeable changing mat something that's like easy for you just to like you know spray down and wipe off when you get poop on it and she pees on it and whatever so um yeah definitely a necessity so those are all my top baby products um, i'm gonna film another one of these when she's a little bit older and when things have kind of changed a little bit but these are all products i still can continue to use the only ones i probably won't continue to use are the like the doc talk she's gonna grow out of it and then the, the lounger she'll grow out of as well but everything else like i plan on continuing to use that for like quite a while still so um definitely beyond six months but yeah so if you're interested in any of these products i'm going to have them linked down below and then again if i can find any coupon codes uh, some of the products i have coupon codes for so i will include everything down below and then you guys can check it all out great for gifts great for yourself um anything like that so but remember none of it is essential you can have a baby with literally just food and a car seat and a place for them to sleep and that's all you all you really need but these help to make it a little bit easier. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments down below and by giving it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.